friends welcome to this class last class we were telling about resistances in series and their practical application and i was telling you to identify a similar situation in your day to day life i'm sure you might have got so many examples so many situations today i will discuss one more situation where we are making use the resistors in series that is in our fan regulator this is a fan regulator circuit in a fan regulator we use a wire wound resistor is yet another type of resistor where we are using a resistant wire on a core which is an insulator core and the length of wire and the resistance they are directly proportional that we already studied last year factors of the resistance of a conductor if length is more resistance will be more here we have some windings from one point to a few turns of winding wire is connected here and included here in the circuit which will constitute one resistance next section another winding this is called tapping each after some number of turns we take that wire out again we wind and like that we have five points here five one and five are the end points of the wire and in between we are getting these terminals so if we are taking five and four we get one value of resistance r1 in this circuit if we take this 4 and 3 we get another resistance but in fan regulator these two are added then third one is added and fourth one is added and last we get this terminal we get full resistance of that circuit what it means we are connecting this r1 r2 r3 and r4 in series and some of these terminals or some of these resistances from the terminals are made available to the fan if we are connecting the pointer here to 5 this is possible by means of a rotor switch that switch will determine which point we have to connect to the fan so if 5 is in touch with we have no resistance in the circuit fan will Uh, work with the maximum current in the circuit so we get maximum speed now start with the four if the pointer is at four one resistor is introduced in the circuit so we will get speed four instead of five we get speed four because one resistance is enrolled in the circuit if we are connecting three and this pointer r1 and r2 are included still we get a lesser current so lesser speed we get a third point speed then comes this point where 2 is in touch with we get r1 r2 r3 resistance increased so again speed will reduce we get speed 2 and last if the pointer is at 1 we get all the resistors in series r1 plus r2 plus r3 and r4 we get total resistance r in the circuit so that fan will be getting minimum current so minimum speed that is nothing but 1 this is the working of fan regulator so we are making use resistors in series this is old type regulator nowadays we are using electronic regulator its principle is different that we will discuss later in our electronics chapter this is electrical regulator having this type of wire wound resistors different types of resistors we will familiarize in a figure i will give you as additional information now we do a problem where we make use this principle of series and parallel connection together problem is like this two bulbs 100 watt 200 volt and 25 watt 200 volt are given Draw the circuit diagram showing the bulbs connected with 200 volt supply. A in series, B in parallel, C calculate the voltage, current, resistance and power of each bulb in both the circuits. So we are given two bulbs 100 watt and 200 volt. One bulb and another bulb is 25 watt and 200 volt the question is we have to connect these two bulbs in the circuit one in series another in parallel so we 
first draw the circuit diagram for these two. Hundred watt to hundred volt and twenty five watt to hundred volt. And this is our voltage. And this is the connection for you are all familiar with. I did not tell you. You might have now got it, but it is series connection. Now parallel connection. Same bulbs in parallel. Now we have to analyze the circuit, and we have to find out the value of voltage, current, resistance. And power of these two bulbs in both the cases. So simple. We can just start with this meaning of 100 watt to 100 volt and 25 watt to 100 volt. Last time we were telling a 100 watt to 100 volt means this bulb when it is connected to 200 volt will give a power of 100 watt. And this bulb, if we connect this one to 200 volt, it will give a power of 25 watt. From these two, we can calculate so many terms that we are already familiar. First, the bulb 1, we can have this one as 1 and 2. For 1, it is power 100 watt and volt is 200 volt. From that, we can calculate its current flowing and then resistance. What is current from P V I? We know I is equal to P by V, which is equal to 100 by 200. That is 0.5 ampere. Now, resistance is equal to, we know the equation V by I. That is V 200 by I 0.5 which is equal to 2000 by 5 400 ohm so for bulb 1 the details are or the values are derived from the basic concept of voltage, current, resistance and power because it is given specification same way we can have 25 volt watt to 200 volt bulb specific uh, characteristics or that power V, I and R. P and V are already given. P is equal to that is of bulb 2, 25 watt. Voltage is 200 volt. Same manner I, we can calculate P by V, 25 by 200. That is 1 by 8.125 and R is equal to V by I 200 by 0.125 which is equal to 3 zeros by 125 which is equal to 1600 Now, we are considering first these two bulbs in series circuit diagram is there we know that bulb there is a filament that filament is the resistance that we already calculated for bulb 1 that is a 100 watt and 200 volt Resistance is 400 ohm and here for second bulb that is 25 watt 200 volt we have calculated resistance as 1600 ohm. In this case we have voltage 200 and two resistors in series. First we have to calculate the effective resistance of these two. Effective resistance of these two we easily calculate by adding First and second, that is 1600, uh, we get 2000 ohm. Now, 
this 2000 ohm is connected to 200 volt, we get the current in the circuit. The current I. So voltage here 200, resistance there 2000. This is for effective resistance only. So we know the current in the circuit is total is 2000 and here V200, I is equal to V by R, 200 by 2000, 1 by 10, that is 0.1. I just listed it, that's all. Otherwise also we can calculate V, this is R, I is equal to V by R, 0.1. This point 0.1 is flowing through this resistance, this resistance or throughout the circuit. Now we have studied these two resistors will split the voltage 200 according to their resistances. So our task now is to find out V1 that is voltage across 400 volt and voltage across 1600. I hope you are getting this. As we have did, uh, dealt these things in a last one or two classes, I am going a little bit fast. So, this, uh, attend this point, 400 first resistance will split this total voltage into one part and this another part. We have to calculate V1. So, in this case, V1 is equal to, we have calculated its amperage 0.1 and resistance is 400 V is equal to I R where I is 0.1 and R is 400 this is equal to 40 similarly we can calculate V2 V2 is equal to here 0.1 into 1600 which is equal to 160 volt. So this V1 and V2 made 200 by splitting 40 and 160 respectively. So first resistance that is of 100 watt bulb will have only 400 volt between its terminals or its across the ends and second 160 volt. Now we have to list this value here to calculate power. V1 voltage of the first bulb that is bulb or first bulb 100 watt 200 volt. Voltage is only 40 current is 0.1 resistance this is again a back calculation we get 40 by 0.1 is into 10 400 now power is product of V and I which is equal to 4 now for second 25 watt 200 volt bulb when, they, when it is in this circuit, we know voltage we have found out 160 volt, current is the same 0.1, so resistance is 1600. There is no meaning of writing this one because we have derived this one from its values. So anyway, to complete this table, I am writing this one 160.1, 1600. What about power? Power is 160 into 0.1. 16 160 into 1 by 10 that is 16 now we get a very interesting observation here though this 100 watt bulb when it is in series it is working in 4 watt power with a current of 0.1 and 25 watt bulb it will somehow manage it is working with 16 watts with 0.1 current. Actually, its current and voltage in 
parallel or separately as we have calculated is not this one is 0.5 and other is 0 0.125 0 0.125 and 0 0.1 more or less the same so it will manage and it will give light what about this one this only 41 volt in across the terminal and current is 0 0.1 instead of 0.5 ampere that we have calculated for that bulb one so instead of 0.5 we get only 0.1 and a power of 4 watt that means that bulb won't work at all whether it is correct or not practically we will do this circuit and we will find out in later class this is about series connection so what is the disadvantage of series connection we can just recollect what we have studied that day we have made on table comparing series and parallel there we have written in series a device having greater resistance or low power only will work and high power or low resistance won't work same thing happening here power 4 for this 100 watt bulb it won't work and current will pass through it but it won't glow and here 1600 resistance is for a power 25 watt it will work but not fully power is 25 watt but here we are getting only 16 watt somehow it will work but not with full power that we have written the available voltage and current will give the power and the available voltage and current 116.1 gives 16 now we see these two bulbs in parallel here bulb 1 bulb 2 bulb 1 is of 400 ohm and bulb 2 is of 1600 ohm that we already calculated and there will be a current here and through this branch this also there will be current I1, I2 here also we have to find out the effective resistance of these two from equation we know 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 which is equal to 1 by 400 plus 1 by 1600 we can add like this making that 1600 as the denominator here we get that is 5 by 1600 therefore r is equal to 1600 by 5 this will give you the answer 320 ohms that is effective resistance r is equal to 320 ohms so 200 volt 320 ohm resistance as the whole now we have to calculate the branch current i1 and i2 because the total current we can calculate from this effective resistance and voltage that is i is equal to v by r 200 by 3000 sorry 320 This 0.62 ampere current is split into these two. Let us see what are the values here I1 and I2. We know voltage is same across these two resistors. So we can write voltage is 200. Now resistance is 400 for the first bulb. So what is its current? Not this current, this branch current I1. I1 we can write I is equal to V by R 200 by 400.5 this is in amperes this is in ohms and this is volt and this is watt this thing now you might have got by heart because we use this table for so many times now this 0.5 is the current flowing i1 0.5 ampere similarly the Power from this we can immediately calculate power 200 into 0.5 that is 100. Now next bulb 25 watt bulb we know 200 the voltage because voltage available in both cases 200 and resistance here 1600. So the value of I is V by R 200 by 1600 which is equal to 0.125 so I2 0.125 what about I1 and I2 
टोटल आई वन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट वन टू फाइव विच इज नथिंग बट पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव सो अक्रॉस दिस वी गेट वोल्टेज फोर हंड्रेड सॉरी टू हंड्रेड दिस एम सो आई वन एंड आई टू विल बी डिफरेंट एंड आई वन इज पॉइंट फाइव विच इज ग्रेटर बिकॉज रेसिस्टेंस इज लेस If power is more, all these are there in that table. We have generalized and listed in the table. You can just compare this one. Four hundred resistance less, so current more. Here one thousand six hundred resistance more, so current less. Point one two five and power point one two five into two hundred, we get twenty five. So in parallel, both the bulbs will work as they work individually. First, we calculated individually all these things. We got the same value: four hundred, one thousand six hundred, and hundred twenty-five, and point five and point one two. Same thing is available in parallel connection. And one more advantage: if we have a switch here, we can operate this first bulb with one switch, and second with second switch. So we can control these two bulbs separately. Thus, we can analyze the circuit, and this is the practical application that household wiring we are using this parallel connection of electrical equipment. Otherwise, if they are connected in series, as we have seen in first case, only low power electrical equipment will work, and high power won't work. And in parallel, we can make all the devices function with the same available voltage. We are getting 230 volt for all the devices, and all the devices will work. This is a very good example for our practical application of series and parallel connection. I hope you got this point very clear, and you can work out more and more problems using this table and make yourself thorough with this one. Not making by heart. Now you got all the ideas. So all the best. We will see in the coming class. with more details practicals and other experiments